you can, you can crop into this place. Well, I've done the Isle of Man on two wheels, but I've never actually competed on the Isle of Man on four wheels, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. It's our first time on the island. We've not done this one before, so uh, it's a bit of fun, I hope. Tests are just awesome. It's really, really good fun. As soon as we get back, we're going to be looking for the next one, I think. <laughs> Such a buzz. Absolutely brilliant, like it used to be. Proper old fashioned rally. We're really enjoying the event. It's a pleasure to be on the Isle of Man, the home of such motorsport heritage. The car looked beautiful and my wife was absolutely furious when I put a cage and the harnesses in it, but that's rallying, isn't it? It's been a very hard day. Ninth section coming up, we won't need much more help with this, but it's wet enough out there for a submarine, probably a yellow one. Plenty of rain, but we can work it out. <laughs> it went well until we went 10 minutes in a ditch and then we ran out of fuel. Is that the one I in the lay -by? Ask me. It's been a great weekend. The tracks were brilliant, the tests were fast, they were rapid, they were exciting. Look forward to the next one. Great to see Field of Pre-War Cars. Yeah, a lot of newcomers as well, which is great. People coming from all over the world, 14 nationalities, I believe. This is our second London Lisbon. Probably one of the best rallies, I have to say, that I think we've ever done. And then we're going to see if we can get to Lisbon. It is going to be a test of endurance, but it's going to be great fun. We're taking Puff all the way back to Lisbon, where she went 47 years and two days ago, because we can. Wonderful scenery, beautiful sunshine, and the car's going like a bomb. The weather's been great, the organisation's fantastic. We're just having an absolute ball at the minute, really thoroughly enjoying it. My navigator's not got us lost yet, and we're even now trying to do one or two of the times, but that's a little bit more challenging. I just think it's been an absolutely brilliant day. The lunch stop today is the like best lunch stop before. I think I've ever experienced on a rally. It's been terrific. Wonderful roads, real challenges. Uh, not really what you expect for Spain though, isn't it? I was told Jackie will come back with a tan, don't forget your swimming trunks. Well... We've had sleet, we've had snow, we've had sun, we've had rain. So we've really got nothing to complain about. Welcome Portugal. Cheers. And well done Thank to you. all the other competitors and all the organisers at Edson. Amazing rally, really good fun. And uh, here's the next one. Nine day event, it's the longest event I've ever done. It's a mega feeling to, to do something like that. Always looking forward to it, always look forward to a rally, always enjoy it, whatever the result. I've never done it before, so this sounds like the the one to do. A bit wet and uh, muddy, very muddy in lots of the places, but now we've had a good time. We went a nice little spin on the Witten Mill test, so that was quite enjoyable as well. Only one wrong turn, so uh, we've not done too badly, I think. And we're still speaking. <laughs> Sun's out, fun day ahead. Two complete amateurs in the car. Don't know what we're doing, but not divorced. Dramas. There's always a drama in our car. My wife is my navigator. It's been great fun so far. Had some nice long tests at uh, Crop Morton. Maybe Crosby squeal a couple of times and got it nicely sideways to nail the game. Yeah, it was an entertaining ride, I can tell you. It was my brother's first time. It's been a big learning curve for him and a, a big lesson in tolerance for me. <laughs> Crop Morton, I hate it at the moment when I'm in the car and I just go from left to right, but then I love it. We've had a great time and what a lovely sunny day to end on. Yeah. We've learned a lot we're going to come back stronger than ever.
the 1,000 mile trial was first run by the Royal Automobile Club in 1900. Hero have recreated the trial and it's been a great success already and I'm sure it'll grow. Well, I've watched them over the years having lots of fun in these pre-war cars and I thought I'd like some of that. So I've spent the last couple of years trying to find a pre-war car. Very exciting. Beautiful day, beautiful cars, couldn't be better. Telling Dad when to turn, when not to turn, and all the signposts, etc. See, he knows everything. Yeah. This car is probably one of the quickest I've ever been in, so I hope we go quick the right way. from the driver, 26 years of marriage and he struggles to listen to me. So I fired him, I fired my driver. We've had fun and the weather's been good, so I can't really get better than that, can we? We're a bit giddy after that last test, that was a bit fast. Metcalf drove into a post on the test. Ah, okay. You promised me good weather, I think. I'm sure it said that on the entry form. The best story we had this morning was my navigator won't speak to me. <laughs> Navigator's still speaking to me. So. Only just. <laughs> Today we have some little difficulties. <laughs> Finding the right Finding road. the right road. It was such good fun. Tomorrow's going to seem really boring. I actually felt really emotional when, when we'd finished. You did, actually. I did. We've had an amazing rally together, some amazing places. Just really happy to be here. We've got a trophy with John Abel's name on it. <laughs> We're here again on the Hero Challenge and what we're doing a bit differently this time is we've got a car with a roof. It's a very good event, we've done it for a number of years and it's the last event we'll do this year and it was unmissable. If you have a classic car you need to do something with it and, and this is a fun way of actually using classic cars rather than just owning them and polishing them. Two aged men retiring, something to keep us occupied, keep us out of the wife's hair really. I think they're very pleased we're away. <laughs> It would appear that my navigator has got lost coming from our hotel to the start. How hard could it be? When it's going well, it's fabulous. When you think you may have missed the junction, it gets a bit more concerning. We're learning on the job, shall we say. I love uh, tests. I'm not sure about this one. No, the tests are good. <laughs> I enjoy the tests. It's fun. We're living the dream. The tests have been absolutely magic. Um, it's certainly been hard working in Navigator Seat, getting everything on the map and all the speed changes. We've had a fantastic day. We've had ups, we've had downs, we've just laughed and it's been brilliant. <laughs> really, really pleased to have run it with my mate Ali here. This is probably one of the best rallies on the whole annual circuit. You know, if you're only going to do a few, make sure you do rally the test. Best event in the calendar, isn't it? You know, it's the one everybody wants to win. It's got nice tests, it's got long, hard, difficult tests, tough night navigation, a lot of driving to do. You just love it. I did it last year and it was such Thank a you. brilliant rally that I had to come back and do it again. To revive the REC brand, which is part of, you know, British motoring history, I think is really important and I'm really proud to be uh, part of it. We did a good test on the last test, so that was the enjoyable part of the evening. Always finish on something nice. Uh, how are we doing? Fantastic. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really well. There's something wickedly wrong if I'm running second on the field, but we try hard and uh, that's the fun of it. Absolutely fantastic. Some great tests this morning. Uh, the showground looked simple, but it was actually really tricky because you kept seeing controls. I'm doing an interview here. Yeah. Pipe down. 
The morning's been really, really fun. The route has been amazing. The regularities have been so much fun. Everybody told there'd be no rain. I beg to differ, so we're not particularly dry, but we're still happy. We're up in the clouds. Not quite sure exactly where. I have to ask my navigator. More tiring than I thought. It's much harder than London, Lisbon. What a finish to the rally. What a finish. Really enjoyed it. The tests have been fantastic as always. Some of them were just awesome. Well, it's been a, a really good challenging event. Lots to keep crews on their toes. What a fabulous rally. Not quite sure how they're going to top this one. Probably the best event of the year apart from the rally of the test, which is also run by Hero. It's a unique challenge that, uh, that keeps us coming back. It's the endurance. Can we cope with each other? Can we get to John O'Groats? We both decided it was uh, something that we wanted to do before uh, we got too old to be able to do this. This event has a worldwide reputation. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. I'm looking forward to the finish and looking back with a glow of satisfaction. Really challenging. Um, great, great route. Um, the organisation did brilliantly reorganising it all the way through. But yeah, no, fantastic time. The car's gone extremely well, probably better than the crew. Fantastic. It's a nice ride. So, so pleased to make it to the end. It's a hell of a feeling to get up here. That was unbelievable. Good. It really was. Yeah. What an experience. What a, what a great event. I'm speechless. One of the best classic high events in the world. I defy anybody to say this isn't just great, great motorsport.